Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today participating in the Iron Man 6 season competition unofficially alongside the official competitors. So I'm just kind of playing along, testing my metal against the Iron Man series. And, uh, um, see if I'm actually up for the challenge for to be an official contestant for for season seven so this today is is gonna test my medal this is the first mission that's been assigned and it's to take on the comm center <clears throat> now I have flown around and I have found two of them that got marked on my map and one of them has another POI really close to it. <coughs> Excuse me. That kind of looks like another comm center, actually. But uh, uh, I didn't get close enough to actually reveal it yet, so I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All of a sudden, I uh, can't talk. Um, the, the other one that isn't revealed, I'm not sure if it's a comm center or not. Uh, it looked kind of like one, so so there might be three on the planet. And unfortunately, the other com the comp center that I'm talking about with the other unknown POI is really close to it too, like within shooting distance. So I <clears throat> I don't think that one is going to be feasible. So the one I'm talking about is so there's a comp center. Oh, this is civil hub residence. So there's this comm center here. And when I was flying over this way, I could see over here somewhere, right around here somewhere, like another one, another, it looked like another comm center, but it probably wasn't, it was probably something else. It's just that it looked like it was really close, like within shooting distance. So I'm gonna avoid that one. That was the one I kind of wanted to go for, and I went and flew close to it and saw there that there was that other POI. So, <clears throat> this one, the other shooty POIs close to it, the only other shooty POI close to it is the drone base, which I think is more than 500 meters away, so I should be okay. It looks like it's more than 500 meters away. So this is the comm center we're going after then. Okay. Whew. Now I've gotten a lot of healing stuff ready. Uh, my bandages are ready to go. I've got some small med kits and I got a whole bunch of sparkling wine. Um, I mean, I'll probably... S I'm not going to say I'll survive on bandages, but I mean, my play style is I, I kind of spam bandages a lot. So, eh, that's why I need a lot, because I'll go through a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have any big med kits. Hopefully, I can loot some off the Xerox that we're going to have to shoot. So, uh, we can take out the exterior defenses with a ship. So, I'm going to do this. My light on. Turn my jetpack on. Oh, actually, let's get some food. So, we've got, as you can see, we've got a ton of canned meat now with all my tomatoes that I got and all the meat. I still have more meat to process, uh, but I think we're, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to starve. And we'll probably pick up some cans of, of vegetables while we're there usually. <clears throat> okay, I'll just pop one of those. Uh, now these are good against food poisoning. I can't see myself eating anything that's going to give me food poisoning anytime soon. So I'll just, I'll just grab a whole stack of this meat. Not a lot to carry for loot wise, but that's not the purpose of this initial foray. Let's take a look. This thing has been beefed up. So 
it now has 192 missiles and 10,000 rounds of ammunition. <clears throat> Let's do this. Okay. So, yeah, I know my, sh my vehicles don't have windows. People don't like that, but it's it's just a thing. <clears throat> this is an Iron Man. It's not necessarily for looks. This is this is all about functionality for me. Functionality, survivability. actually pump up this thing's well it's not very twitchy it'll be it's fairly smooth so it should be easy to line up the turrets and I believe com centers have so there's the there's the husk of the Titan that I was multi tooling at Looks like we're going to lose daylight here as it goes along. Well, maybe we can have daylight for the initial... Let's... So there's the drone base. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. So if we come at it from this side, we'll stay away from the drone base that way, right? So, 354 is our range. Those are the turrets right there on the sides. So, if I come at it enough of an angle, enough of an angle, the other one should not be able to. Let's avoid getting hit there. like they can aim straight up, which is good. And he's, is he still there? It looks like he's still there. No. Okay. Okay, so that's its turrets. Those are just deco. Um, There were like, let's switch to my guns here. From what I remember, there's like, yeah, there's like, isn't there a no, 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 is it down lower? I can't see. Yeah, there they are, right there, right there. There. And one there. Okay. So there's the turrets taken out. Uh, okay, so of course it's facing the drone base, right? God. 743. Well, that's not bad. Not bad. Oh, okay. The, the drone base is not going to be able to shoot at me from here. Okay, good, good. I was a little bit worried there. Yeah, we're okay, we're okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, now I believe there's no more... I think it's just those two sentry guns. Oh, I remember this place. I remember this from when I was doing Alpha 7 Experimental Season. Okay, so 
there is going to be a spawner right down there. So why don't I just creep over here. Let me take a look. What are we like at distance-wise? And, oh, it's sending drones out to attack my base. Are they going to spot me and veer off? No. So it's in, that's that's interesting to see, and then I probably won't get the warning until they're like halfway there or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's the warning. I'll just let my base defend itself at this point. Uh. Okay, I cannot take out the interior contents with the vessel, so. Let's just get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and land here. I, I want to take out the spawner with my hand weapon, so let's jump out. I should be able to reach it with my T2. Assault rifle. Now, do I see any baddies? Those are just, those are just primitives. Okay. Any other? No spiders. Because I really hate spiders. Okay. And then non-aggressive dinosaurs. Okay. So we've got seven minutes of daylight. Or sorry, seven hours of daylight. I guess we timed this pretty good, actually. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump out. And what do we got for? We've got our three. We've got all that. We've got that. We, I think we're, I think we're solid. Let's do this. Come on, jump out. There we go. Stop. Stop. Fine. We're gonna go into first person view so that I can get my scope. There it is. I can just see it. I should be able to shoot it. Oh yeah. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Excellent. And was that a switch right there? Is that a switch? I don't remember seeing a switch down there. I think these are just lights or flares or something. Okay, so that spawner's done. Let's get a little closer with the SV then. Oops. Or, you know, shut it right off and... Okay. Okay, I think, uh, yeah, those are just flares. Okay. Or lights, I guess, because they I couldn't see them till now. Um... I guess we do this, so there's a top and bottom. I am going to choose the bottom. I think if you guys, if anyone has seen my episode where I did the comm center previously, uh, a few months ago during my, uh, uh, I, th I think it was Alpha 7 Experimental, I think it was. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you can go check that out, and um, you'll know what I'm talking about. And so, I am going to jump out. So, let's just level off, because it's making a whole bunch of noise that's driving me crazy. Now it actually is, it's not, okay, that makes no sense. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so we've got the bug eye bus there, and I hear Xerax. So, <sighs> should we risk drawing it up right here? I think I want to get out of the view of wildlife. Am I going to get cooked here? Yep, okay. Let's 
it's here. There's something behind there. Oh, there's a door there. Okay, so let's drone it up. See what's going on. So there's a spawner there with a couple of guys. Another faction door. There is a other faction elevator and other faction door with a spawner with a couple of guys. Okay. Okay, so let's stay to this side. And we will just shoot the door out, reload. reload sounds like there's a guy right around the corner and this is a door here isn't it yeah okay okay let's loot these guys really quick nice good good wow two uh two large health let's put that down here that's my first large health. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about any of this loot right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's take a look. What are we up against? We are up against a other faction door. Okay, with a spawner and here, let's drone it up. Okay, two spawners and four guys. Yikes. Yikes. So I smashed the door. Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna suck, okay. Okay, here it goes. Smash the door, back out, kill them. Kill their spawner. Let me just reload. Let me make, make, make sure this gun's loaded, okay. Okay, here we go. Can I get the spawner? Got the spawner. Let's reload. I got hit, so I'm gonna. Nope. Seven is my. I'm just gonna spam this a bunch of times. And then grab my gun and get in here. Oh, and yeah, you know, have it not. Uh, Let's try this again. Come on, spawner. There we go. Okay, where'd the other guy go though? Wasn't there more than just three of them? Okay. Now there's, I don't remember any, they might've updated this though. I don't remember any sentry guns in here on the inside of this corridor. Okay, there's the core. Let's get this guy's loot. You know what? Let's just not mess with stuff. I don't care if I blow this container up. Let's just pop the core and call it done and not risk uh not risk anything 
So let's put uh, a couple of charges on here. And we'll run back out of here. Reload really quick just in case that it... Oh, there we go. That took out the core. That definitely took out the core. I wouldn't have been able to get into it any other way anyway. Because this is all hand weapons won't do weapons do damage to that unless you got plasma cannons you have to do it with those uh little explosive packs okay so there we go the core's done um i'm supposed to multi-tool stuff to prove that i took out the core so there we go let's see what this had before it disappears oh, oh nice a rifle upgrade again Ooh, there we go i wanted one it's like Christmas, woo! So, I don't wanna go too crazy here with multi-tooling, but there we go. Uh, let's take a look at some of the loot now. Well, that was pretty quick. I can still hear Xerox too, cause I'm gonna be posting this video after the other con contestants do it anyway, so. This won't give any spoilers away. So there's a nasty trap in here. There is a freaking nasty trap upstairs. And what it does is it drops you down into a death pit of Xerox and sentry guns, <laughs> which are just beyond these blocks here. Now, because I popped the core already, the sentry guns aren't gonna work. The uh, spawners aren't going to go. I could, I could, I could go for it and kill the, the Xerox that are in behind there. There should only be a couple of them. You know, that that's not that risky. I'm at full health. I still got tons of healing. Let's zap this. And we'll back off. Oh, need to zap more then. Okay, so... We'll zap and then scoot out of the way. And then switch our weapons. And then take a look. Come on. Always looking up at my uh, radar too to make sure that I don't see any red dots coming in. Okay, here we go, here we go. He looks like a shotgun guy, right? Isn't that what those, uh, are those shotguns? Crap, these are gonna hurt. Okay, you can't shoot me, I'm too, too close to you. <laughs> oh, that isn't cheating. Okay, so I still hear guys. There must be more of them. Let's see this really quick. <laughs> Spam a bunch of bandages. Okay. We'll switch weapons. And no, 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 nobody in here. No, just spawners. Just spawners and and sentry guns that don't work anymore. <laughs> And, okay, so there's there's guys upstairs. So see, this is the trap here. This is it here. There's a trap door above there that you fall down. And then this sentry gun peppers you while, while two Xerox stand here with shotguns blasting you. And meanwhile, you're disorientated after you fall. So chances are, by the time you recover, you're probably dead. And I'm happy to give that away because I'll be posting this after everyone else posts this. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dick. And oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice. Okay, so you know what? I think we're done here. We're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna loot. I need all this loot. Some good loot. 
So let's just bring the uh, bug eye bus right up then. Uh, oh, what about the guys upstairs? Hmm. Let's take the fuel and stuff too. It's a T2. We should take the tank too. 258. Oh, it won't let me because I'm full. Okay. Let's dump some of this stuff off then. So there we go. The uh, first mission successful. Um, really, I wasn't too concerned with the comm center. It could get a lot more tricky, and it will get more tricky as we go along here, but... There you go, that's the comp center. I'm gonna, I mean, yeah, there's guys upstairs still, but I've already popped the core and, uh, and zap stuff. So what I can do now is I, I'm gonna put my own core in there. And actually we, we do have some time left here. I can show you guys. Let's just quickly, this episode didn't go too long, did it? Uh, let's dump all this stuff. Let me sort this. I'll eat that. Let's just dump, get all this out of me. I need that. Let's put that down here. Don't need all those. Don't need that. Still got lots of band-aids. Don't need all these bullets. Don't need the O2. Don't need all that. Got a bunch. Okay, so there's... Okay. Let's um, let's just scooch this up a little bit here. There we go. Now I can take the fuel. Nice. And we can put a core in here. So let's put a core in. Let's put it <laughs> where it was. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just put it here. Okay, the base is mine. I now own it. And now that I own it, I can look at what's going on. Can I get into these sentry guns? No, it won't let me. Won't let me into them. <laughs> so there's spawners around and stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can just grab what's in the cargo boxes and then and then get the loot boxes after. Okay, not that great in the cargo boxes, but, uh, well, let's take a look at the loot boxes then. So there was, there was two here. Is there guys over there? Maybe there's guys over there. Did I not kill those guys? I didn't even kill those guys, did I? Yeah, see, there's Zerox right there. <laughs> They're in my base. Huh. That's kind of funny. Well, uh, I'll kill them. I don't think their spawners work anymore. That was it? Okay. Lots of food. Food. <sighs> okay, 
Let's take a look at uh, what we got here. I'll just take it. Oh, a, a pistol. <laughs> oh, good. Some healing. That's never going to complain about that. Never complain about that. Okay. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, great. Spoiled food and bits. Eh. Not so special. There was nothing over here, was there? Not shooting at me now, are you? Because I own you. Okay. Well, what does this do? Probably destroys the core or something, right? Which is, that's exactly what it does. Not my car. Won't destroy my core. Okay. Meh. Ugh, really? Oh, growing plot steel, though. Uh, yeah, that's... that's that's awesome. Steel blocks. Uh, Xeno. Well, actually, it's all good. It's all good stuff. Um, how much of it can I take? Just that? Okay, so we'll drop more stuff off. And there's the two loot ones out here. So we'll just put stuff in here. Okay. And look at that, it's just starting to get dark. We're just going to get out of here in time. Ooh, that's not bad. And, oh nice, heavy weapon kit. Okay, good. I actually needed that really bad. I was uh, getting a little worried about that. For later on, later on. Okay. Uh, well, we... Have we got anything of value, I think? I don't think there's... Is there anything going to kill me here? I don't hear any creatures. Oh, there's fridges. There is a spawner up here. There's no dudes, though. Let me just... Come on, let me out, thank you. So, it didn't activate, okay. Okay, whoa, oh, power went out. Uh, and then the trap door was like right around here somewhere, I think. Where, let's see, hardened steel. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that get caught by that, I'm really sorry, but it is kind of evil. Okay, I think we got all the juicy bits out of here now. I don't think there's anything else worth uh, taking. What's out here? Well, it's getting really dark, isn't it? Is there another spawner out here? No. There's switches, though. Or, uh... No, those are just flares or lights or something. Yeah, that's just lights. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. Let's, um... Cook ourselves on our own vehicle because that's intelligent and <laughs> okay yay success success and yes I know my lights are all bug-eyed but hey it is the bug-eyed bus 
Okay. Well, I guess we'll call this episode here. Uh, that's a lot of hardened steel plates that I can get out of here too. So there's one more, one more. Oh, did I, did I get every? Yeah, I did get it all. I didn't take the generators and stuff though, did I? What kind of generators do they got? Let's take a look really quick here before I take off. T1s. Not even T1s. They're just, uh, it's just a, it's just a small generator. No. Okay. I don't, I don't want it. Turn my light on. It's just going to turn off again every time I get in and out. On and off. Okay. Let's just, let's just go home. So drone base never, uh, bothered us the whole time. Uh, I'm guessing that was the right choice then to take on this one. So there we have it. Mission one in the books. We'll head back to base and uh, sort out our loot. Um, looked like we had some. We got some zascosium. I think we might be able to possibly make a or didn't we loot it we looted a pulse rifle didn't we no we didn't loot a pulse rifle but I'll, I'll look but uh yeah yeah i'd say that was good that was good so we'll do a victory roll success all right and there's my base doing its job taking out drones nice I guess we can loot that one while we're here <laughs> right right is that it that was the only so they wasn't active so they ignored it flew around a bit and then and then as soon as I got close enough one was still close enough to get shot at maybe that's what I'm thinking what happened here so there's still a couple more flying around potentially that's fine we'll find them ah nice thank you for your contribution to the Iron Man competition. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I can just fly through the door. That was sweet. Oops. Let's grab everything out of the fridge. Oh, I never put anything in the fridge, did I? That's because I put everything on the uh, in the cargo boxes. Yeah, there, there they are. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll put them in the fridge now. Ooh, lots of loot to deal with. Okay. Well, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with that. Um, if you like this episode, oh, there, see, see, there we go, somewhere, where, where is that, it's somewhere over there, over there, okay, like I thought, okay, well, I got my hands full of loot, so let's put this stuff away, oh, another thing I'm going to have to do, too, is, uh, build bigger fridges, <laughs> I'll, I'll look into that. Off camera, I'll probably do that. Oh, another one. Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? Oh, behind us there. Oh, I want to go get their bits really bad, but I'm full. i got to deal with that. So, well, guys, like I say, I'll 
straighten myself up off, off camera, get everything sorted out, take stock of the loot and put all that away and uh, look at maybe upgrading some of my weapons. Um, I don't know what the next mission is because I still got a couple of days to go before I actually post this video. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess for a couple of days, I'm just going to putt around. I'll, I'll uh, keep working on the base. I'll multi-tool down the... Uh, I'll probably go... Do, you know what I'll do? I'll go do the Titan uh, and probably the CV on the moon. Maybe I'll go do the CV on the moon. That's not a bad idea. Okay, guys. Um, give me a like if you like this episode. Uh, subscribe if you want to be notified when the next episode gets posted. And until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.